Good afternoon, 90 degrees on the dot in the New Orleans area right now, and the feels like temperature, oh, just 13 degrees higher than the air temperature. Our winds are from the west southwest, humidity at 65%, and you can see the downpours on our camera. These showers are moving, so we may have a few heavy downpours, but we're not looking for a big widespread, really flooding threat today. We'll watch out for a few of those heavy showers, though, into this afternoon. Current temperature is 90, and our feels like temperature as high as, oh my, 106, 109 at Buras and Bell Chase, but we do have these showers that are beginning to form and just now popping up right at noon. A couple in the certainly Metairie and Kenner area and over New Orleans too. Now these are moving off to the east northeast, so if you're wondering when you'll get a break, probably maybe within the next maybe half hour to hour or so, these will have passed through the area. Laplace getting a thunderstorm there. A few lightning strikes probably about to start if you haven't seen those already around Laplace, and then we do have a few very spotty sort of areas north of the lake. Here's our forecast model, our high resolution model showing 3 p.m. Still some scattered rain in the area. All of this will be coming to an end at 7 or 8 o'clock as we lose our daytime heating. These are mostly fueled by the heating of the day and tomorrow will actually be much drier and hotter. Today our highs could still climb maybe a degree or two this afternoon. Few scattered storms will say a 40 to 60 percent or so chance for rain and then a big upper high builds in Tuesday to Thursday, bringing more sun, not much rain at all, and a heat index up to 105 or 110 possible in the next few afternoons. So I'd say if you do get a little shower today, that might be a good thing ahead of our hot stretch coming up at the middle of the week. Low chances for development, especially for this one in the middle part of the Atlantic. This one looks like it's just about falling apart. We'll track this one, but it's not even off the coast of Africa yet. Here is a low pressure area off the east coast. That one is moving out into the kind of northeast part of off the coast of the northeast U.S. and moving off, continuing off to the east. But our tropical wave that we've been tracking, Invest 99, is moving almost due west. So we will watch this one, but it doesn't look like a threat really even for the Gulf of Mexico. In fact, a lot of the long range models are kind of showing that it might not even develop. So we will track it. The National Hurricane Center is giving it about an 80 percent chance of development. The next name on the list is Nana, but it looks like it will stay well to our south here along the Gulf coast. So hot Tuesday through Thursday, very standard sort of weather expected this weekend and a weak front will get close to us at least Saturday. It may kind of wash out over us, but we may have more coming at the middle of September. When if you're wondering when do we usually get our first call, fall cold front? Here's the earliest fall cool down by year. This is going back 30 years and each year I put in looking at the records the day that we first hit a high of less than 79 degrees in the fall. So last year it was October 12th, the year before that October 17th, the year before that October 16th. So kind of dived in deep to the data today, but the average looking at the th past 30 years for this is September 30th for the earliest fall cool down. So it is coming as we get into September. We will be talking a lot more about that. Just something to look forward to tomorrow. Slight rain chance hot and dry through Thursday, and you can see a few spotty showers or storms when that front arrives this weekend.